Bună ziua, sunt Ana Costea de la Biserica Speranța și împreună cu mine am invitat o prietenă. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Madeline Cooley and I'm 18 years old and I'm on the World Race Cap Year. Uh, Medi, so I had uh, a chance to spend some time with you and I saw that you really love the Lord. How did you get to know the Lord? So all my life I have grown, grown up in a religious family. Um, my dad and my grandfather were actually pastors. So I have been around um, the Lord and everything about my whole life. It wasn't until I was around um, 10 that I got to know him for myself um, at a camp and I decided then that I wanted to follow him and that I wanted to be more like him. Um, but it wasn't really until maybe 16 years old that I became very serious about it. And I had times when I had messed up a lot, but the Lord has been gracious and he has never left me and he has been with me everywhere. So when you say messed up, what do you mean? Um, in my past i was very big with relationships mm -hmm. and i really just loved attention from guys um i had got into some wrong relationships mm -hmm. um and around the wrong friends too mm -hmm. and which ended up making me go down a path that i never wanted to go down um but yeah so by your testimony and what you're saying is very important to uh, have good friends yeah. in our life. Uh, can you please tell us uh, how do you spend time with God? How do you understand God? And then please tell us how do you serve God? Yeah, um, so one and very important thing is the people you surround yourself with. Um, a lot of times we can go with people who don't have our same morals and values, mm -hmm. which will actually distract you from wanting more of who God is. Mm -hmm. um, one way I do this is on this, um, actually I was able to do this on this um, gap year race. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to get myself around a good community, good. see people who had the same morals and values as me, same beliefs as me, and I was able to work um, to be who I wanted to be. Um, the way that I sp like spend time with God mm -hmm. is I really just like to sit with him and just in the morning, like I will pray, I will read my Bible. And sometimes I just like listen to music and sit in silence. Um, other times I just like to sing a lot. I think one of my favorite things is listening to music. Nice. Yeah. So when you say you like to pray, I'm assuming you read the Bible as well. How you actually pray? Mm -hmm. Because you don't hear very often like young generations saying, I pray and I read the Bible. How do you do? What do you do actually? Yeah, so um, you can pray with your friends or even like by yourself. But mm -hmm. how you pray is you, it's just like a conversation with the Lord. It's literally like you can tell him your needs, your mm -hmm. wants, your desires in life and like by him, like what he wants for you, he will fulfill those things. And you can even tell him your frustrations. Like when mm -hmm. I'm um, angry or hurt, like I can go to him and just be like, God, I am really hurt right now and here's why. But he satisfies my heart every time. Very nice. So when you read the Bible, do you, how do you read the Bible? Yeah, I like to highlight a lot. It's kind of like a story, um, many stories in one book. Um, there has been many people that have just done some absolutely crazy things. There was Paul, um, mm -hmm. who used to be Saul, and he actually persecuted Christians. Mm -hmm. He killed Christians, um, but God still used him. And he actually did so much for the Lord later. Uh, I like how you said that God used him. How does God use you? Yeah, um, so during my time of 
not doing anything I was supposed to do. Um, there's a Bible verse, it's Romans 8.28, and it says that God works all things out for our good. And um, during that time, I didn't think anything good was gonna come out of it, mm -hmm. but he actually turned everything around for my glory, and, or his glory, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. And um, I was able to come on this race, and I was able to share the, like, the gospel with other people, and so yeah. So we'll close with this question. What is something that uh, you'll go, a memory about Romania? Oh, I loved Romania, actually. It was one of my, I've never been out the country, so it was a great out of the country um, first experience. Um, I think I'll remember the people for sure. Hmm. A lot of the people that I have come in contact with have actually been some of the best people that I've ever talked to. Um, and they have been more open than anyone that I've ever talked to. So just the open-mindedness of the country has been really cool. Thank you, Mehdi, and thank you for saying beautiful words about Romanian people. <laughs> yes, thank you. Have thank a good day. You.